okay? Because two people can come into marriage, but if they don't want to submit to one another, because see, when, they, when we read that, it says, wives submit to your husband, right? Three verses down, it says, submit one to another. And you go, oh, we have to submit to each other, right? But see, when I was growing up, they would stop reading, wives submit to your husband, and then they close the book. Okay? So, so now you've got this one dictator, and you've got this other person that doesn't want to be ruled over, and you're going to have problems. But if they know that they need to submit or yield to each other, then you won't have crashes all the time. You understand? So the whole thing about this is that if you have rebellion, you don't want to be ruled over, okay? That's the problem. Anyone that's going to be a part of God's kingdom has to love submission, has to love obedience and submission to God. You've got to give yourself over and say, God has authority over me. You have to give yourself... You have to give up your own free will. It's very hard to, to deal with people who have free wills. Anyone who gives birth to children, you don't know what how any of them are going to turn out. You do the best you can at raising them, but once they get older and that nature takes over, you don't know which way they're going to go even if some kids are raised in Christian churches, you don't know how their heart's going to be. That's right. You don't know where their influences are coming from. So you're praying and you're trying to get this. Now, God has the same problem because he created all these angels. And then now you've got a third of them rebelling against him. And they've been in his glory. 